My name is David. I'm a Coke Play Frontier from the Genesis Group. Today I want to give you guys a quick market update. Now, before I go and tell you about how bad Bitcoin is doing, and remember, please check out all the videos. I told you guys that Bitcoin was <laughs> heading down after 48,000. Now, let's look at CoCoin. <clears throat> CoCoin did break out of this channel, as I <laughs> as I mentioned it would do a couple videos ago. And now, let's see what it's doing. Okay, we got to check this out. All right. So, originally, you see CoCoin, it was on this down channel like this. It broke out. And then it went back to test it. But what happened was, instead of moving this way, it started stooping down. So you had a double. It was making its own down channel using the previous down channel as mm -hmm. support. And now what happened is it broke out again. So now you're going to look at uh, another down channel like this. Where <laughs> CoCoin hasn't really used it as support, but it's moving sideways. And I said it was going to move sideways. And <laughs> in the best case situation, CoCoin will be moving sideways, but moving towards going up instead of just going side. So we're hoping that's what we we're looking for. CoCoin continue to move sideways, but work its way up. Okay. And, um, yeah, by, what is this, March? Right, this is March. Um, so, hold on, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, because I'm sick of my brain. Yeah, April. This is April, I'm sorry. So, in April, which means by May, June, as it's moving sideways, working his way up, Sometime in June, halfway through June, we can reach all time highs. Okay, so that's what that's what we see in the charts with Coke Play. So Coke Play still looks good. It broke out of this first down channel. It made a new higher down channel. It broke out of that, and now it's just moving sideways, where it's not even testing <coughs> the down channel of support. Now, <clears throat> now let's look at Bitcoin. Okay, so if you look at Bitcoin, I like to use um, <clears throat> the Binance chart. Bitcoin is just is, is moving down as expected. And I expect it to go down to at least around 36,000, even more. Even more. And I'm going to tell you why. This is, uh, here, let me get rid of this one. This is by Crypto Crew University. Okay, uh, I'm a member there. Now, this is the Gothium channel. Remember back here when I say Gothium, it got into the Gothium channel and it's going to go under. Well, Bitcoin did manage to break out, but it's back in. <coughs> and <coughs> what I want you guys to look at is, you see how Bitcoin has some wicks that went in under the Gothium channel, but never really printed any candles. And so here in 2020, you can see it printed a pretty good red candle under the Gothium channel. <laughs> that was from the COVID crash. <laughs> 2018, it printed a lot of strong red candles underneath the Gothium, big ones right there. <laughs> 2014, lots of red candles underneath the Gothium channel. 2011. Good red candle, or maybe a couple red candles underneath the Gothium channel. Now, what does that mean? Chances are, let's make it even red. You know, however long it gets, if the Gothium channel is going this way, I expect some red candles to be printed. You know, maybe you have a wick and then a print and then another print or something before it starts working with its way back up all right and i don't know it could go all the way down here you know it could go down to twenty thousand. 
okay? Get close to 20,000, maybe even under. But the whole point is, is we didn't see the prints of candles from underneath the Gothium channel. Okay, and that's really what I'm waiting for. <coughs> Some big prints. Because it always happened in the past. Okay, remember, you want to know what's the likelihood of what's going to happen in the future. Just look to the past. And you had these big prints in the Gothium channel. 2014, another big print. 2011, another big print. So, that's why I still expect more down term in the Gothium channel. Here's another thing from Crypto Crew University. <clears throat> See the orange line on the bottom? Okay. Notice how you tested the orange line. It got rejected. It got pushed back down. All right. 2014. Same thing. Got pushed back down. <clears throat> 2018. It got pushed back down. Okay. <clears throat> you went under. Test the orange. Got rejected. You got pushed back down. Now, in 2020, here, it didn't happen, but that was the COVID crash, so that was unique. But look here, we tested it. <laughs> okay, let's go back to white. Test it, and then, you know, expect rejection. And then eventually go back above it. Okay, so, I'm just, see I'm just telling you what I see in the chart. Um, just looking at the past. Okay, here 2018. And if you look at my previous videos, I talked about this one. I specifically talked about how Bitcoin could test the red, touch the green, go back, go like that. And I said that's what is very likely to happen with uh, Bitcoin in 2022. And that's why I said... It'll go above the green line and expect, you know, 48 to 50, even 50,000. Okay, we went down. Now, this, this is, you know, the reality is, in my opinion, is you could have Bitcoin go back down and bounce back up again. And then go back down and then boom. <coughs> start printing those big red candles under the Gothium channel. All right, because it happened before, it can happen again, okay? And just boom. So overall, I still see a lot of, you know, Bitcoin headed down. You can have some ups and downs in the process. But, you know, in general, I see Bitcoin going down. <laughs> you know, you might have a chart like, let's look at Bitcoin. Now let's make it to black. Okay, so you know Bitcoin went like this, go like this, maybe go down more like that, and boom, you know, like that, and whatever. Let's say, you know, just, uh, well, you guys get what I'm saying. You're going to have ups and downs, but eventually it's going to break down 63, um, 36,000. It's going to go under, in my opinion. You're going to look at Bitcoin in its 20s. <coughs> Probably in the low 20s, high teens, okay? I, I've, so, that's just, you know, what I see in the chart. Uh, maybe it's not what you want to hear, but I'd rather tell you than, you know, lie to you guys and tell you it's going to hit $100,000 next month. I just see Bitcoin going down, okay? Um, <clears throat> as for CoCoin, as of right now, you know, CoCoin's acting as predicted and is moving sideways. Um, hopefully, it starts moving sideways to the upside. You know, <clears throat> in the past, CoCoin has always done well when Bitcoin and the market is going down. So, that's what we're looking for, okay? All right, everyone. Uh, I'm feeling much better. I, I think I said in the previous video, I did test positive for COVID. Uh, the medication will make you sleepy, but it does help. It does help. All right, everyone, uh, please take good physical care of yourself. That way, when you do get sick, you're not as sick. Your immune system is much stronger.
And, you know, for your own health, please take good spiritual care of yourself and mental care of yourself. Make sure you're around the right people. You know, continue to pray for the, the Ukrainian and Russian citizens and all of us because, you know, let's be honest. We're all getting hit too, just not as bad as the Ukrainian and Russian citizens. But, you know, hey, gas inflation, food inflation. Hey, <coughs> my recommendation, uh, remember, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what I'm doing and I'm telling you why. But, you know, when it comes to food and food inflation, I do see it getting worse. I do see it getting worse, so... <laughs> You should prep up better safe than sorry. All right, Coke family. Look, love you guys. Praying for you guys. And also everyone else out there. God bless y'all. Coke on.